Welcome my beautiful Aquarius. Here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of August the 16th to the 22nd, 2021. Starting off right off the beginning here, your all over energy card you've been given is the Queen of Pentacles. And if I'm right, this showed up on the last reading as well. And I really shuffled these cards. So this is telling me that, you know, you're stepping up now into the power, your power of being able to walk in your garden of abundance. And also you have this ability now to step Step into it by shifting any negative energy you've had around you and flipping it over into something that's going to work out in your favor. Um, you know, you need to pay attention right now to your finances in order for you to level up your money game and give yourself permission to rise into the upper ranks. It's a positive message, okay? It's about your, your comforts, your creature comforts, and your happiness right now. Also, you know, she is the mothering. She has this mothering instinct, and she is the ultimate mother as well. And I often call her Mother Earth because she's depicted like that. She plants her seeds, and she sees things grow. But don't overextend your energy and avoid enabling others by over-mothering them. You know, they need to learn to walk on their own, and we can't mother them all the time. And that's the message they're giving you right now. So you're going to be deeply connected now. And in, the, in that process, you're going to be able to pour out that warmth of abundance and love around you. And you're going to be receiving it as well. I love this. Now, coming in here with your first energy card, you have been given the hunter. And the hunter is all about you, uh, you know, not letting fear leave you on, lead you on the path. You know, tracking down your fearful thoughts and feelings when you find them and you'll find your desires, okay? So don't let fear lead you on the path when it comes to, uh, you know, going towards any challenges this week or any goals that you're going through. Instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried, become the hunter. You're being given confidence and strength at this time to use your power and make it a difference. So you're not here to cower away or live in the shadows. You're here to realize your fullest potential. But it can only happen when you step up and do what needs to be done. Okay, so this is, this is you stepping up into your power right now. Not being afraid. You have this opportunity to know yourself more deeply as well. And you're overcoming your limitations. Beautiful. Now coming in with your beautiful <clears throat> excuse me message from a time to shine angel deck you've been given wisdom and that wisdom is saying it's time to bring wonderful new ideas together and focus on balance and compromise to get results so you might have to change things up you might have to tweak the way you've been doing things you might need to bring other people into the equation to work together as a team okay i think that maybe you'll get better results when you do that but it's about being balanced and it's also about realizing compromise not going out there and expecting to get a hundred percent of something and or even more when there may be compromise brought in and where everybody can you know is it's a level playing field and everybody can be happy if you're dealing with a situation with other people and you're both pulling back and pushing back and forth and you want the same thing so you know, there's going to be some new ideas coming in. You may be changing up the way you think or you do things this week. And, you know, balance yourself to do that. And, you know, know that compromise is always, I, you hear me use that word a lot. I, You know, compromise helps us get through situations no matter what they are. If we don't get greedy, if we don't push too hard. Because that's what happens is we set our expectations way too high. And at the end of the day, we don't get it. We get disappointed. Now, your final energy card is the Badger. Respecting boundaries, yet headstrong, Badger moves at his own pace, meeting challenges head on with determination and grace. So we don't want to get involved with anybody this week uh, in a, in, you know, get into battle mode or an argument or a debate with somebody and trigger them. They may be dealing with their own demons right now and they may react in an aggressive manner. And then, you know, we regret that we provoked it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the Badger doesn't necessarily have to be that way because he does go at his own pace. He's fearless, okay? We talked about, you know, facing your fears, going forward, not being afraid, changing things up, changing the way that things are going. So, you know, avoid being provoked by the disrespect and lack and control of other people. You know, two wrongs, you know, never make a right. Instead, you know, remain assertive, but try to appreciate another's view or difficulties with respect. And, com and compassion. So, you know, be very clear, though, on your boundaries. 
with regard to what is acceptable and expected and also inquire as to what is needed from you, especially if a contractual or financial situation or anything you've got to sign is, you know, what you're being having, what you're having to deal with today. So be clear and fair and, and honest, uh, you know, when you're dealing with anybody right now and, you know, with equally re with equal respect. OK, don't underestimate or take advantage. <clears throat> either or allow someone to do that to you this week so avoid confrontation at all costs if you can but try to be fair and listen to both sides of the story this week with somebody now coming in uh, behind you which could be the beginning of your week actually you've been given the seven of wands the chariot and the beautiful ace of pentacles so the seven of wands says okay you know you may have come up against some opposition here where you have to defend yourself stand up for yourself uh stand your ground uh but you know pick your battles wisely and again you know with that badger card coming out i would be very careful try to listen to both sides of the story here don't go jumping in here uh, and uh, with your your guns blaring and then later on you know regret it but by all means stand in your integrity stand you know stand in your power don't back down and cower either but on the other hand try not to get into a battle royale with anybody this week you're going to come out ahead here the chariot shows up this is the champion um, you know, maybe you have to go into some sort of confrontation with somebody, uh, but go in it, you know, with understanding, compassion, and, uh, you know, you're going to win that. But he goes in, knows there's risks, he knows there's consequences, but at the end of the day, he knows he's going to win. And he uses his tact, his intelligence, and his gifts to that he has and it, to go into battle mode, to go into that ring, to try to win, and he does. And that's what I want you to do as well. Uh, use what you know is going to work here, Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely. I hope you're not fighting over money, but maybe some of you are dealing with money, but you're going to end up with a great, this is about great abundance. You know, it could be in the form of time, effort, support, money. Maybe it's a, a salary increase. Maybe it's a promotion offer. Um, maybe, you know, it's a windfall. Maybe you're going to get an inheritance or a settlement, but definitely it's the beginning of seeing money, good, good messages coming into you about finances beautiful and you're going to come out the champion at the end of the day yeah you will you come out the winner now coming in the center could be your middle of your week or what you're feeling right now you have the page of swords the two of swords and the fool so you may be hearing some information if some of you are dealing with uh you know signing of legal documents or or correspondence that way or legal issues um or court issues whatever the case is you may hear some information that's going to come in and it's going to kind of shock you or make you step back uh and also make you have to put any plans that you had on pause while you process it and work on it but you know i always say the truth is going to free you and and hearing about this might come out in the form of gossip or from somebody they blurted it out and you you're gonna not gonna like it because they have no tack and we all all know that pages are immature they're not quite the knight they're certainly not a king and they have lessons to learn yet uh, and they're not as wise but don't attack the messenger okay just take the message because it's definitely going to help you I think you've been walking on a tightrope I think you've been uh, worried about a situation and now when the truth comes out you're able to deal with it so it will be in your benefit two of wands okay so the two of wands talks about partnering up with somebody going the distance maybe your your business is dealing with people overseas or you know from a great distance maybe internationally for others you could be traveling because you have to go on a business trip but I think that you may be dealing with <clears throat> this isn't the time to go alone I think you're going to be dealing with another person and you could be thinking about uh, joining a, a partnership of some sort with a company or a business or maybe you're opening your own and you're taking in someone else with you but this is saying don't walk this path alone make sure that you have someone else here that you can trust that you're going to be walking this path with you're making your your mark on the world here very very good now you're going to be able to take a leap of faith here and go towards your goals, your aspirations, your passion, whatever you're, you're, you truly want to see happen at this time. And I do believe that the universe says, hey, I'm going to give you a soft place to land. I've got your back. 
you know, be cautious. Make sure you've got all the information. You don't go, uh, you know, you don't go and jump off a bridge uh, and bungee jump without finding the name of the company and the insurance policies and all the information. And, you know, you just don't. And, you know, this way you can take this leap of faith. Go towards what you want and be, if you're prepared, you're going to see it come out and work in your favor. So this is beautiful. You might be signing some legal documents and correspondence as well, especially if you're going into some sort of partnership with somebody. Now, coming in towards you, you have the Five of Swords, you have the Ten of Wands, and you have the Six of Swords. So, right off the bat, I had said to you, try not to get into any kind of, <laughs> any kind of battle with somebody. But, you know, if it's, a, if it's a legal action and you have to step up and defend yourself, uh, and, you know, definitely, yeah. But, and you will win it, okay? But, you know, when we go into battle mode, and I talk about this all the time with the with the chariot he goes in there with a mindset he's going to win he knows there's risks he knows there's consequences but he goes in there with a mindset he's going to win so you know if you go into this battle you will win it but you're going to you need to weigh the risks are the risks worth taking you, what are you going to lose if you do win is somebody going to are you going to lose their friendship their trust uh their partnership uh, you know, whatever the case is, uh, their input, their investment into whatever you have together, think about it, okay? But if you do go into this battle, if it is something legal and you have to, uh, at the end of the day, you might say, oh, why did it have to come to this? Why did it have to take this long? Why couldn't we have been amicable and so on? But you decided to let something go. And this is letting a burden go. You may have been carrying a lot of burdens on your shoulder and feeling like you had the whole world on your shoulder. Others, you could have been uh, putting all the effort into something, into a business uh, or into a relationship. Then you finally said, I'm out of here. I've, I've had it. And, and maybe this is what it is. There might have been a partnership or, a, or a, you know, a, a marriage of some sort. And you've decided to say, I can't do this anymore on my own. I want to be happy. I'd rather be alone than be with somebody who isn't on board with me and who keeps dumping all their bags on me so you know whatever the situation is here it's over you're going you're free now to go in a new direction you're you've lightened the load you've let go you're not the beast of burden anymore this is beautiful being able to go forward now in a much better direction and look where you're going leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores yes Aquarius whatever happened in the past what was behind you now is behind you you're able to be free now to go forward on your own and see the that you know your new world and your new journey that you're forging out onto yes there's still going to be waves in that water but it's not going to be as challenging as what you left behind it's almost like you've got guidance here look at the crows they're pulling the rope they're going to guide you through your troubled waters it's as though spirit stepped forward in the universe and said hey you deserve to go out now you deserve to be on your own you deserve to to make your dreams come true beautiful okay let's see what we have here for our clarification cards spirit for our beautiful aquarius pretty powerful again another powerful reading but i do think you're going to see success you know i do think you're going to uh you're going to be able to uh see abundance coming into you uh, there will be some challenges here though with someone i see that but at the end of the day you will come out ahead pick your battles wisely though okay there's going to be a time here for new ideas and new things coming into you but again we talk they talk about compromise okay spirit what do they need to see know and expect past present and future energy coming in with your ace of pentacles you it's time for you to step back and take a rest here apparently you, you know you may have stressed yourself out or maybe you you know you've overworked your a situation to death here and now you need to step back and take a rest but you're going to be protected it's time for a respite maybe you're going to go on a holiday i talked about going the distance here with your job traveling for business but maybe you're planning a vacation as well but it, it's time to rest up and get your rest this says you need more sleep you need to take time step back from a situation here i think you know this 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 was a hard battle maybe you fought to get to this point with the ace of pentacles and the good news coming in and now it's here you need time to think about it what are you going to do with it where are you going to go with it how are you going to invest it to help yourself seven of wands you have the hierophant the message and the blessing from the divine beautiful so i think you know someone has your back here you know you've had to defend stand up for yourself and you're at the end of the day you do win look how she's sitting here in the praying position here 
uh, you know, I think that you have been manifesting and praying for what you want and it's definitely coming in. The message from the Hierophant says yes. You're going in a new direction and you may be bringing new people into your soul pad, into your circle, into your friendship uh, circle as well. People of like minds, people who believe in what you believe in. Um, you could be joining a, a spiritualist group, uh, a spiritualist, you know, a faith of some sort, healers, uh, you know, uh, spiritual healers, anything like that. Uh, you could be bringing or joining groups like that as well. But a beautiful message from the Hierophant. Coming in with our champion, our chariot, you have temperance. So, you know, temperance is all about taking your time. Um, you know, it shows him charging in to do this, but I think he thought long and hard. And I think this is a card that says, think about your moves before you go in there. Don't go jumping in too quickly. Make sure you weigh your options, you know, weigh your risks before you go in there. Take your time. Coming in with our page of swords, we have again, look at double message here. Uh, you've got the six of swords again. You're definitely leaving something behind. And I just, you know, the hammer, the gavel comes down here, maybe with a court case where you win something. And now you're going on your own and, the, and you know, it's a better direction for you to go. You may be taking someone with you, someone new someone who's there with you to stand by you queen of cups nurturing yourself here thinking about you know you're you're moving forward towards your goals here waiting for your ship to come in but moving forward you may be in touch with someone who they just said healer to me someone who uh, and maybe you're over the internet or maybe somebody you know at a distance and they're going to send you some healing of some sort she's a very healing nurturing mother type of ins uh, uh, energy um you know also, you could be doing this. You could be taking this on. Maybe you're, you're, you're healing someone else yourself. But know that you have to get yourself in the mindset. Have yourself, heal yourself and nurture yourself first. She's a very honest person. She's loving. She's caring. Uh, she cares about her family. Um, that's the type of queen she is. And you could be uh, either taking care of someone yourself, nurturing someone, a parent or a child or a family member or, uh, you know, a chosen family member as well. Coming in with the Fool. Oh, again, this is wonderful. Ace of Pentacles. I love it. So you've got the double message. Yeah, the leap of faith may be for you to go towards a new goal, a new job, a new career, partnering up with somebody maybe. This is all about windfall coming in that's going to be abundant in the financial part of your life. I love it. So you could be taking that leap of faith to go the distance, okay? Maybe you're going the distance. Maybe you're relocating. Maybe you're moving for a new business. Or again, maybe a business that you're dealing with internationally with people around the world. But I do think you're going to see prosperity come in. Don't be afraid to take this leap of faith and go for it. Coming in with our Five of Swords, you have the King of Rods. Okay, so, you know, this king is the most focused king on <clears throat> of the kings, and he goes for the big picture. You might have, you know, you might have done that too, um, but it was a hard bottle, battle you fought uh, to get what you want, and there were risks. You won the battle, but it was hard for you. Uh, you know, continue focusing on your goals now. Move ahead. Let the past go. He's very focused. He goes for the big picture. He doesn't want to be bothered with all those little details, and I think you're going to be moving forward. Just keep going forward and take that leap for what it is you want. Coming in with the Ten of Wands, you have reason to, you have the Four of Cups, rather. So you may have been in a position with a situation in your life, whether it was a relationship, partnership, something to do with business or, uh, you know, romance or relationship, but you felt as though you were bored and you were stagnant and you were stuck and you were missing out on an opportunity. Um, you know, I think you've changed that up. You realize you look forward at new opportunities and w what you were to gain if you let go of those things that didn't serve you. And, you know, let the past go. Uh, be open to new opportunities coming in because there is growth and expansion for you now. And again, with our Six of Swords going in a new direction, leaving the past behind, look what you get. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Cups. Yes, going in a new direction. Realizing that, you know, you're not there yet. She's not there yet either. But you know that you're leaving a situation to go to a better one. And that's what this is about. Maintain your stability and your balance. Don't do anything too quickly. Plan your moves. Be, you know, be calculated and be honest with yourself and make out those detailed plans to go forward. This says balance yourself, okay? Know that you're not there yet, but you're going in the right direction and stay on this path. Wow. Well, my beautiful Aquarians, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And it looks pretty impressive. 
So you're going to have to fight hard this week uh, or in the near future here to get where you're going. But at the end of the day, you get it. Okay, you get it. And you know, it's almost like a blessing from the divine says, finally, you deserve this and you're going in a new direction, a beautiful new direction where you can take a leap of faith and go towards your garden of abundance. Uh, so I wish you, you know, I wish you to remember to be sure of the energy that you throw out into the universe because the universe is reacting to us, not happening to us. And always remember the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And let's always continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. Many blessings and much love, my beautiful Aquarius.